and welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending February 26th, 2022. Um, as last week, we're just kind of going through the headlines here, chatting about them. Nothing too carefully written, um, as we sometimes do. We've got to start with this one. It's not very weird, but it is kind of remarkable. Um, a Hayao Miyazaki manga from 1983 yeah. will be getting an English release coming up soon. Mm -hmm. um, it is called Shuna's Journey. It was published in New Type, just like Nausicaa. And uh, I'm going to show everyone some images. Um, yeah, this looks kind of familiar. Just got to <laughs> say... A um, little bit. A little bit. This, um, you know, I, I would say there are just some aspects of this that look a little huh. bit like something that came out later. Um, one or two things, just, you know, some of the animals involved... Some of the costumes involved um, from various things that uh, Miyazaki might have made later in his career. Uh, just saying. Just saying. Uh, putting it out there. Yeah, just wow. putting it out there. So, yeah. It's just, it look, look, folks, it's just a vague resemblance. Vague resemblance. It's just a vague, vague, very vague. Yeah, I had no idea. I did not <laughs> realize anything about this. Um, I'm assuming, well, here's the thing. Um, this would have he would have been doing Nausicaa earlier, because the, the anime came out in '84, so he must have started Nausicaa the manga in New Type before Shuna's Journey. So this is almost like a remix of Nausicaa with Yakul thrown. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm fascinated. I mean, it it almost looks like it could be a spinoff of Nausicaa. It could be set in the universe of Nausicaa. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. I'm actually going to look it up here real quick, see if there's any information about it. I forgot to look up um, more of this. Uh, there we go. Um, do, 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 do. Um, it does not appear... Okay. Um, interesting. It is apparently not based on, uh, on any of the other stuff. It's basically a prototype of Nausicaa and Ashitaka. Um, Interesting. Wow. The red elk he rides is named Yakul. Wow. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, there you go. Yes, exactly. Um, and then there's, there's, there's other stories which apparently are a little more um, uh, dark and grown up. Um, wow. Fascinating. Mm. Fascinating. Yeah. Curious. Curious to see where that's going to go. Apparently, it is basically, um, um, it's kind of an, a, an illustrated story. So it's more like, you know, images with text overlaid on it as opposed to like a, a, a graphic novel in the traditional sense. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so fingers crossed. That's cool. I want to see more. Um, but that's kind of all we know about it. <laughs> it's, it's a thing that will be coming out. <laughs> Um, now, Nausicaa came out a while ago, um, but we have another, we have an action anniversary project we need to talk about. It was announced today, there's a new anime coming out for Uma Musumi Pretty Derby. That storied old anime is celebrating its <laughs> one year anniversary with a oh, new anime so project. Old. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I, I liked uh, yeah. Pretty Derby. I, I thought it was very cute. I didn't watch any more of it after the first season, <laughs> but I thought it was very cute. A one-year anniversary <laughs> special? Okay. Okay. Um, to be clear, it's... Five, five years, I probably would have been like, oh, I remember that fondly. I'll go back. It's only been like a little bit of time. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, to be clear, it's an anniversary of the release of the, the game. A video game, which apparently was insanely popular, like unbelievably successful. Um, but yes, they, they released a, I think, seven minute um, sort of trailer compilation clip of the thing. And I have to, can I, let me, let me see here, one second. Um, can I pull in, I just want to show some of the moments from this, um, not that. I want to see, uh, were you 
using, one moment, folks. Um, uh, uh, probably that. Um, oh, there we go. So let me see if I can pull in um, a, uh, I, I, I may have pulled down that image so I can, or that, that video, so I can show everyone the, um, the very detailed way that they represent um, all of the other characters um, in the anime, just kind of the, the level of detail that they, that they put into anime about all of the other girls in their class. Um, there's just, again, just the attention to detail um, of all these other characters is just, to me, really impressive. <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah, it's just literally, <laughs> literally just cutouts for all the other characters, except oh. for the ones we care about. It's kind of weird and off-putting. Um, <sighs> mainly because it's not even like, um, um, like in some anime they do that kind of as a joke, where like people aren't paying attention or whatever. No, it's clearly like we just don't care. We're just going <laughs> to slot in things. Um, but it looks cute. It looks fun. Um, apparently, there are three new derby girls, whatever you call them, um, and they all decide Ho to uh, horsey girls. Horsey girls, yes, and they're all trying out. Uh, but of course, the uh, the the classic girls appear as well in the story, um, all drawn out in all of their lovely shiny details. Um, so yeah, that is a that is a thing because of course, um, pretty derby. Because it's pretty derby. Um, it's a pretty derby. Check real quick. Pretty derby um, game. Um, let me go to demo game. But who would have thought it was a first person shooter when you think it would be about <laughs> racehorses? That's amazing. Very strange. Um, the faster you run, the less likely you are to be shot. Oh, exactly. good to know. <laughs> hey, that, that's, that's offensive when it comes to horse girls. Um, <laughs> She broke her foot. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! Um, I think I remember seeing a thing. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, the mobile game, within ten months of its release, grossed nearly any guesses. Two point seven billion dollars. Uh, something. Not that much, but um, nine hundred sixty-five million. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes. shot of a billion dollars. <laughs> Making it the world's ninth highest grossing mobile game of 2021. So I think they could afford an anime. Just say it. I don't know. A lot of that money went to gold toilets and, and expensive <laughs> cars. Oh, it's hard to tell how much they actually had available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, not bad. Not bad. Um, Sometimes when we have these news segments, I wonder, am I missing something by not mobile gaming? <laughs> <laughs> like, Apparently. what am I not doing? <laughs> um, if anyone's curious, the, uh, the top three mobile games of 2021, highest grossing, were PUBG Mobile, 2.8 uh, uh, billion, um, <sighs> Honor of Kings slash Arena of Valor, 2.8 billion. Um, both of those are by Tencent. So, oh, trying to make all the money. Number three, of course, Genshin. Impact. Genshin. Yeah. <laughs> um, followed by R Roblox Mobile, Coin Master, Pokemon Go, Candy Crush Saga. Who would have thought? <laughs> Even today, Candy Crush is making that much money. Um, and then Garena Free Fire Battle Royale game. Um, what is Coin Master? Free single player uh, casual mobile game. Okay, yeah, it is very much a um, Candy Crush style of, uh, of game. So, yeah, if you want more horse, horsey girls, those, you, you, you'll get more of it coming soon. Or, or you could always, you know, rule 34. <laughs> oh, yes, there's plenty of that. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the film that's produced for the veterinary school when they're working with large animals. That's not available for public, dis, you know, distribution. So. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> Um, another anime is coming out, and again, sort of have to mention it, um, very few details about it. Um, there was an announcement of a new Spice and Wolf anime. Yes. Mm. And that's, um, 
a new anime based on the Spice and Wolf light novel series has been greenlit. That's all we know. They, they released a trailer, but it's just the um, illustrations from the light novels sort of scrolling past the screen. And then what looks like a new image of what I'm, what I'm assuming is Hollow uh, from the back um, with uh, like a, a cloak around her. Could be the, the daughter girl. Spoilers. Um, That's what I was thinking. It's like if, if Holo and Kraft Lawrence had child, it could be yeah. like it could be a uh, well, Yashihime. Right. It could be sort of that concept. Which is <laughs> what, and this, this is the thing, is that this is kind of sort of similar to how they announced the VR game. They did the recent VR Spice and Wolf, and they announced that as a new Spice and Wolf animation project, which turns out to have been a VR game. Interesting. So who knows if this, mm. this doesn't have to be like a TV anime. It could be something else. Yeah, now, right. Um, unknown. Um, uh, we are 15 years. This is the 15th anniversary of the, uh, the series. So the franchise. So cool. Hope something comes of it. No idea. Um, the uh, the tagline is: "Shall we embark on a journey again?" Holo the Wise Wolf and Lawrence the Merchant's story continues. Hmm. Mm. It certainly implies. It certainly uh, that sounds like Spice and Wolf season two, right? Like it really does. Yeah. But you know, um, or Holo is eternal, and Kraft Lawrence is like now 187, <laughs> you know, like failing badly. <laughs> Kept alive through my magic. Um, yeah, who, who knows? And by the way, I say that because canonically in the story, they do have a daughter together. So like, there's oh. a whole thing going on there. So yes. Nice. Yeah, so I just always think back to the time that they'd meet up with the bird, uh, bird spirit lady mm. that talks to Holo about, you know, humans are very fragile. Mm. Humans live a very short time. It's like, mm. oh. I don't want to see a second season where it's like, <laughs> oh, we learn how short a lifespan Graf yeah. Lawrence has versus Holo. Yeah. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Definitely yeah. seen those storylines in anime before. Yeah, I know, um, and it's so sad. Yeah. Heck, there's one in Tenchi Moya. Um, um, yes, uh, the backstory of, of Little Washu. Um, yep. I might tell some other time. Um, another anime adaptation coming up, which I just have to describe because I love the setup for this um, The Lonely Castle in the Mirror um, was a novel uh, published in 2017 in Japan won the Japan Booksellers Award the, Award the following year topped Da Vinci Magazine's Book of the Year list in 2017 and won the Grand Prize of the King's Brunch Book Prize 2017 uh, there will be an English release in hardcover July 5th of this year um um, there was also a release in English in April of 2021. Uh, Doubleday um, describes the story as, as, as such, and I want you all to figure out what happens next. In a tranquil neighborhood of Tokyo, seven mm. teenagers wake to find their bedroom mirrors are shining. What happens next? Misaka. Exactly. At a single touch, they are pulled from their lonely lives to a wondrous castle filled with winding stairways, watchful portraits, and twinkling chandeliers. In this new sanctuary, they're confronted with a set of clues leading to a oh, hidden words. room where one of them will be granted a wish. But there's a catch. If they don't leave the castle by five o'clock, there will be a punishment. What happens next? Death. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, they all have a happy life. No, no, no. So... That's the setup. Um, that's the basic uh, concept, um, and uh, yeah, so that is coming in, uh, and it's already come in English one in a novel, and anime coming, uh, anime film coming, in winter twenty twenty two. So looks interesting. Um, just I, I found that that concept kind of funny. Um, that we all, you know, we've all seen that anime before, I think. Yeah. Twice. Um, hey, John. Good to see you. Hi. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have that problem. Hi, hey, hi John yeah, Ryder. Hi, John. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, also this week, stories worth mentioning, um, perhaps not in too much detail. Um, Kizuna Ai is getting an anime project, uh, perhaps not surprising. Kizuna Ai being the massively popular uh, uh, VTuber, virtual YouTuber. 
Um, she held a concert recently, notable because Kizuna Ai is kind of shutting down. Like the main girl personality they've announced is going on hi indefinite hiatus. Um, they're going to keep up like her Twitter, Instagram, social media accounts, but they'll just put announcements on there. Um, and they've announced a new VTuber character personality kind of under the overarching company brand who will uh, presumably take over for um, Kizuna Ai. Now, people know who Kizuna Ai is, or it, yeah. that's sort of the part of the mystery? You don't know exactly who personally she is. What do you mean who? Like her real, not oh, yeah, okay, her personality, yeah. no, um, but like who the real person is behind it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, it's one of those complicated things where it's kind of like um, um, uh, uh, the various uh, virtual idols where like there is a voice behind her, but she is more of a corporate entity. You know, she, she's okay. controlled. But yes, uh, Nozomi Kas Kasuga is the voice actress behind the character and is, okay. you know, presumably kind of performing her. Um, so right. she's stepping aside, and they're going to right. retire Kizuna Ai? Right, or right. Just hiatus. Yeah. Hiatus. Hiatus. Or have they upgraded the program, and they need somebody else to, you know, get plugged in? And, you know, <laughs> Steve's volunteer. They, they make the SDF yeah. one, yeah. Um, you know. Nozomi Akasuga is now a dried husk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they need a new, new young woman. To Sucked her soul. <laughs> I don't well, know. I mean... In Sharon Apple style, can't uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Kizuni I operate completely independent of, of her voice actress now? Yeah. <laughs> Just yes. using her will to function? Yeah, but, but they don't want a, another Macross incident. They, they'd rather not have their headquarters <laughs> float up bodily. <laughs> off of, out of or, 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 or maybe she can raise the Arizona like me. Yeah. There we go. That, I love it. I love it. We oh, have a new Star Blazers show. It's perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> It all comes together. Or an Apple pilots the Arizona. <laughs> like, oh, good. Good. Yeah. Um, speaking of anime news. All, oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, and all this because of this, okay. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, also announced this week um, a, a, a TV anime out of Near Automata. I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to yeah. see how they adapt that really effing weird <laughs> video game, which I love uh -huh. to death into a TV anime um, can be done, but that is a very, very... Will it be an R15? Universe. Because all the cosplays I see from that series are just like Her... not appropriate for small children. <laughs> yeah. uh, she has a very uh, short skirt. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. So do apparently a lot of the other characters. <laughs> like, yes. oh goodness. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing. Um... Mm. um uh, we also got a uh, announcement of a TV anime for Nomin Kanren no Skill Baka Agatetari Nazeka Tsuyoku Nata, aka I have somehow gotten stronger when I improved my farm related skills. Uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we haven't had enough ridiculous isekai concepts. Basically, the main <sighs> character gets isekai, decides he's going to become a farmer, just going to level up his farming skills, just farm. Everything will be fine. Um, but once he, like, levels up all of his farming skills, um, his life takes a completely different turn? <gasps> Who saw that coming? Shocking. Dun, dun, dun. Shocking. So, that TV anime is coming. Um, cute illustrations. Looks like fun. Hopefully they lean in on the, on the comedy there. Um, yeah. Just like the idea. Well, I'm standing on a million lives. Had the uh, the guy rolls like the wheel of jobs, mm, right. and like one of the people gets like sword person, <laughs> yeah. just gets mage, and he gets cook. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like oh, really? now he has to level up his cooking skills. <laughs> then he gets something like blacksmith. Then he gets then yeah. he gets farmer at one point where it's yeah. just like really, <laughs> oh, these are super rare. You're like, dude, it's, not the, it's the functionality, it's not the rarity. Exactly. Um, the, uh, see here, um, the Japan Academy Film Prize Association Awards were uh, awarded earlier, um, this week, and the winner, the popularity award was won by Evangelion 3.01.0, twice upon a time. Ah. So, good for them. Um, um, this was, uh, voted by the program's listeners, um, and so good on them. 
um, I, uh, even though at one, one point I was also nominated for Animation of the Year, um, including nominees uh, Bell, Juju Kaisen Zero, mm. um, Fortune Favors Lady Nikuko, and A Sing a Bit of Harmony, which are both sort of more smaller independent films. Um, I actually look these up a little bit because they, they, they look neat. Um, Fortune I want to see a little bit of Harmony. I want to yeah. see that one. Uh, Fortune Favors Lady Nikuko is about an 11 year old girl who uh, lives with her mother on a boat. Um, and uh, the mother is constantly embarrassing uh, the girl um, uh, because her, the mother has no taste in men, basically. Um, keeps falling for the wrong guys. Um, um, and so she's kind of a loud and bold, which embarrasses her daughter. Um, and then things happen. I think a bit of harmony looks kind they of come to a shining mirror and they get transferred. Yeah. Angel attack. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> Angel comes down, descends, third impact. What? Honkai impact. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, finally, the Fruits Basket Prelude movie came oh. out last week and earned about half a million dollars in its opening mm. weekend. Not bad at all. Um... This is the story of Toru's parents when they were uh, still alive, um, and she is still a very young girl. So hmm. um, it uh, um, it centers on the backstory of their parents, which the 2019 series did not adapt. Um, and there are new scenes written by the manga creator specifically for the film hmm. that are about what happens after the story of the anime. Ho ho ho! Mm-hmm. So fruits basket fans. Probably nice. attracted by that idea. <laughs> um, plus, of course, 20-page booklet with a 16-page epilogue manga also created by the mangaka. So, lots of content if you get to see that. Makes a lot of sense. And the 2019 um, Japanese dub cast returned for the film, obviously. So, that is there. Um, so, good on Fruits Basket for putting in the money. Yeah, nice. Uh-huh. Um, cool. That's all the news for this week. 